All right, here's the stepper motors that we're going to send you on this uh, size 34 plate, but it's a 23 uh, stepper motor. These are a high rated 2 amp stepper motor. And I've given you a little kit here, but basically this is the connector that's on the stepper motor and this is a female connector and it takes male pins. This is what you're going to be utilizing on your wiring. And what you're going to do is you're going to just take a, your existing wire. This happens to be 20 gauge and you're going to try to get just, just a shade more than an eighth of an inch of strip. And then usually I like to twist it. So this is just a shade over an eighth of an inch. If, if it's a little too long like this one, you could trim it down. So it's a little closer to an eighth of an inch. And then these are the crimpers that you're going to use. Here are the pins. And notice there's two crimps on the pin. The, the rear crimp right here is what crimps onto the, the wire insulation. And the front crimp is what crimps onto the wire itself. So when you close this up, you'll see that this one is a little bit smaller. The A is smaller than the B. So you're going to be using the A because this is small wire. Have this nice and flush with the end. You can see you can just flush it up with the end. John? Then you're going to take this wire. Cheryl. What? Then you're going to take this wire and slide it in and you can see right now I'm at the insulation if I go just another eighth of an inch in it's real easy to to get it near perfect now you can see on this crimp you can see I got a lot of insulation you can see that I was almost to the point where I had put the insulation into the front crimp but you can see it just barely stops so this would be considered a perfect crimp but it bordered on having an issue and then here's the front crimp and you can see that a little bit of wire is extending through and you can see that there's plenty of crimp on there now it is not totally it's very obvious which side the pin goes in on this connector but on this one it's not so obvious but if you notice the side is a little bit smaller and it's got a, a shape to it so you can't put it in the wrong way so this pin just pushes in from this, from this edge and all you do is just slide it in, push it nice and straight. You'll feel it, it clip in because on the pin is a set of fish hooks that it catches. Now if I have an extraction tool here, this is the extraction tool. And what you do is you slide this in. There's a little ridge that you have to get up to and sometimes you just got to give it give it the little jiggle and then push on it and pops a pin out and basically what you're doing is this pin you have to get it to go all the way over the little fish hook so sometimes even pushing in on the wire and getting it to seat and then when you push on it it pushes it out of the connector so when you when you do this you got to double check that these little hooks do stay intact have fun